Summer nights, mid-July, when you and I were forever wild. Crazy days, city lights, the way you play with me like a child. Will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? Will you still love me when I got nothing but my aching soul? I know you will, I know you will, I know that you will. Will you still love me when I'm no longer beautiful? Hi, hello and namaste and welcome to my podcast, the Hashtag Evening Podcast Show, episode number four. Okay, I think I just ran for a while. Uh, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, Yeah, and I am back again with another episode. And today we are going to talk about something that we uh, we always feel when we are with our loved ones, with our family or something we do. And that feeling we call is happiness. Right. So when I say or when I talk about happiness, what's... What's the picture that you can visualize on your mind? Maybe you can visualize or maybe you can say the feeling when you are happy is when you are with your loved ones, like your family, your friends, your partner or anyone. Or uh, you can say you happiness is when uh, I do something or I achieve something or... I have, you know, I tried something new or anything, you know, happiness is anything that can be defined individually. It, it's not uh, one thing, one particular thing, because happiness is, I think it's everywhere. Um, you can find happiness in your workplace if your workplace is not toxic. Uh, if it's good, you have a good work colleagues, uh, working environment and everything that you can find a good happiness there. But uh, I mean, happiness, finding happiness in, in workplace is quite difficult for me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm trying my best to, you know, get that happiness Um in my workplace but i love my work but yeah sometimes it happens you know life happens and yeah uh apart from your work you can say spending time with your family your parents your siblings though i don't have one because i'm the only child so i have to find ways to occupy uh occupy myself do stuff like that i write i sing i dance i i do everything that i can i do podcast now (laughs) yeah so uh, I have cousins, but they all live abroad and it's kind of long distance thing and I do not like long distance thing. And yeah, talking about long distance thing, I have my partner who is also studying abroad. And um, yeah, I mean, if he was here, then I would definitely would not feel uh, that much alone. But yeah, it's OK. <laughs> it's OK. No problem. So we're talking about happiness. Um, I think I just... um went out went off track Hmm, i should not all right so happiness uh i think for me happiness would be um when you're healthy healthy in a sense that you are not ill or you are not sick often though we have flu and stuff like that that's seasonal flus and all but you know um which you when you are in a good health that's the happiness because when you are in good health you can uh, find a lot of things to do in your life and um, you will be stressed of course but you will also find a solution for that stress or for uh, the problems that you've been facing in your life yeah i mean social connections social connections connections in a sense like in your workplace in your friends group in your uh making new friends i mean these days we um we live in a digital age so you know we can make new friends um online or maybe uh through friends also we can make new friends and stuff we find new 
uh, colleagues uh, in our workplace that's also new people so socializing in your own group in your friends group circle in your family circle uh, with your loved ones or the, your I mean the family of your loved ones your partner anybody you know just being socialized is, is also a kind of happiness that will make you help um, stay connected with your uh, with your people with uh, with you know all the people around you who, who actually are close to you who actually enjoy your company and you enjoy their company um, staying engaged uh, will also help you you know makes your brain a little bit sharper I think that's what I have felt um, because you are engaged with the world and um, make it a be it a bad experience or maybe it can be a good experience but i would say let's focus on positive things so yeah being a good experience i think it'll help you as uh in your well-being uh, physically mentally socially spiritually every way just makes your brain really sharp so for me when i'm engaged with uh, my cousins or my anybody when i'm interacting with anyone uh be anybody I really love uh, talking with people, you know, hearing their stories out and um, be a good listener, uh, though I'm trying to be a good listener now. Uh, talking less and listening more, that's I've been practicing a lot. Mm, yeah. And yeah, listening to my um, what people has to say, listening to the stories, getting inspired um, and getting inspired with them is is really something, isn't it? So happiness for me is like uh, cooking food. Um, yeah, I love cooking food. Um, I love singing. I I mean, like happiness for me is doing podcasts and sharing my things with you go with you all. That that's that's me. I mean, yeah, this is my happiness. I mean, sometimes you know, when you're older, um, you tend to feel like. Uh, okay i'm just 30 or okay i'm 40 or i'm 25 you know i'm i'm 22 um oh my god you know those things are just i'm too old for these things no don't do that because recently i think i have been doing some adventurous stuff that i never thought i would be doing it because one of my friend uh, he was like okay just come on you know you should, you you need to experience this thing and and i was like okay let's let's go and let's do that and i i went to do archery I was like, damn, man, I'm actually happy. I'm actually really, that's really cool. So having these kind of people around you or having somebody who actually makes you feel like, okay, you know, just go, let's go. Who's, who actually push you, uh, not just be a friend. May, maybe it can be your um, your family members, your friends, your your even your loved one, your partner, anybody who just pushes you to do, to do good things, you know. That's also one of certain happiness. So, yeah, I mean, doing adventurous things, uh, stuff, whatever you want to do. Because when you are, when you think you're growing old, okay, now I think um, I need to settle down by the age of 30 or I need to have uh, this thing by the age of 35 or I have to do by the age of 25. I mean, chill. Okay, just, I mean, just don't be... Don't rush and don't just, you know, panic because you're you're in your 20s or you're in your 30s. I mean, I'm just I just turned 30, so uh, I can't say beyond 30. <laughs> so I can just say as much as I have experienced till date. Um, yeah, I mean, you just need to chill out. You just cannot go, you know, like panicking and oh my god i have to finish this thing on time i have to do i mean like yeah finishing some things on the before deadline is good things like that but sometimes you just need to chill out sometimes you just need to be like okay relax and just live the moment you know like everybody these days everybody i go even if i visit my cousin's home or, or i go everywhere people are on their phone every time even like our grandparents or even our parents they all are on their phones and sometimes i'll be like oh my god just please drop your phone and talk with me and just be in the present moment just don't i know we'd like to capture our moments to just do you know keep it inside the memory but sometimes it's okay to make it a memory without your you know taking a pictures or just be in the moment be be there just just you know that's what I think. That's what I feel. That's what my happiness is. I mean, like spending with my spending time with my family, 
because I'm the only child and being only child is a uh, you know so it's you have a lot of pros and cons at the same time it's like 50 50 um but yeah I mean everything has uh advantage and disadvantage in this world yeah people who have everything they have everything they wanted in life or just everything but still they're not happy and sometimes we find um people who have less uh, but still they're happy so, so materialistic thing i don't think they will bring you happiness but if you think practically in today's world uh and philosophically when you you know when you're rich enough then you can say yeah money does not you know matter for me but since you're you know struggling or since you're doing things and you're just looking after family doing everything then i think money matters practically thinking logically thinking it does yeah i might i might sound a bit lame but i mean happiness uh can also uh, be sometime it can be money um to some people i mean you can't just rely everything on money but yeah to some extent um but i didn't mean to say that you know oh my god money is the ever everything and all but yeah i mean um just think logically and practically you will know <laughs> what i mean all right let's not let's not go there anyways um uh, I think this podcast might be a little too long than I was expecting it to be. I do not want to make it long and boring, uh, you know, and yeah. So um, that's it for today. And, um, but lastly, before I wrap it up, I would like to say to be, uh, to be happy uh, for me is to actually spend with your family and friends. Um, that's more important to me that's happiness for me okay folks i think you got what happiness might look like but your happiness might be different from me it does not mean that you have to uh you know relate to me or you have to go through whatever i've said no i mean it's your choice it's your personal choice i just give advice according to what i have experienced till the till 30 so i'm already 30 i feel old but i feel young i mean come on it's like 30. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in the next episode. And take care. And yeah, just be happy and healthy. And keep smiling. Bye-bye. Also, next episode, you will be listening to a new story with a moral lesson. So keep on tuning to hashtag evening podcast show with me, your host, 